Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where we believe in Bitcoin, where Bitcoin still is the revolution. Guys, sorry for not making videos yesterday and the day before. I was traveling a lot, I was very busy. And first of all, I want to thank all of those 20 to 30 people in Amsterdam that came to an unplanned meetup in a beautiful bar and we talked Bitcoin, blockchain and life I think for almost three hours. Um, really appreciate that you drove from all, of the, all over in the Netherlands to that meetup just to uh, visit me and talk with me. Um, thank you so much. I really like uh, the community. Um, I really love that community. Beautiful. Um, today, a very short TA video. That is a must see because I know that you are freaking out. We dropped from 67k to 60k. Please watch this video so you understand again what the bigger picture is. Now, let's quickly jump into those charts that will tell you um, exactly what I want to show you. Oh, Diddy. Come on. Bam. The first job is, okay, this is for the short term traders, you know, are you trading with the BAM BAM indicator, uh, beautiful trade opportunities in the last couple of times, we have this beautiful long over here, you know, the beautiful long was called, uh, you took that long around this dot over there, when we closed above the other stepping line, that uh, was sold at the short flag with an 8% uh, trade, uh, with a leverage of 10, 80%. This short also, <coughs> A valid trade but not a huge trade but still you know 1.7 percent with leverage 17 percent again this long also very good trade you would have taken it at the green dot over there bam look 5.6 percent with the leverage you know how much that is and the short also valid here from the moment we close down with the other step line would again be a six percent just do the calculations guys i am waiting for this um, short to turn down long again and that long uh, will go in my opinion again up to the blue top line but that is how um, i need to look at the charts at the moment that the, sh the long flag is appearing let's scroll down under because i just want to show you that i was pretty right <laughs> when i showed you this chart some time ago already like a week ago i told you wow yes we will be moving in between those yellow lines i said in between those yellow lines i even drew this yellow line i told you guys yes we will go to the top but we will correct look what these red candles are doing we will correct and then we will retest that level of 59 which we are now almost doing and then we will move up again to break that top yellow line again and retest that one i told you also don't look at the time frame because you know i just throw it with a pull loose loose high hands loose hands but look it looks pretty good okay so we are following that track um, also over here guys yes we broke that purple line of course we can expect a, uh, a pullback but the red line still is the next target 73,000 next target in Bitcoin that was all clear <clears throat> now let's jump into the next chart BAM over here this is the day chart so we are slowly starting to zoom out on this day chart it's my face even on the right place yes it's in the perfect place down below down below there where you all belong and um, the day chart looks really good look we still are above this ema ribbon the ema ribbon is exactly at 58,000, exactly at that retest area are we going to hit it for sure i don't know but it could hit that level and um, if we bounce off very positive zoomed out on the day chart maybe if i show you the difference uh, between day and four hour chart on the four hour chart we broke down below that ribbon and now that ribbon has become resistance so we need to break that bottom line over there 61k to go above that line again so four hour looks a little bit bearish but when you zoom out to the day chart we are still bullish as beep youtube would say next chart bam over here this is the day chart and the day chart as well you can see um look for example we could be moving in this channel now you know and it doesn't mean that this channel needs to go to the bottom but we could go also to pull back to that midline and that midline again is around 58,000. <coughs> the level i've been talking about now a little bit more if i um, 
take that channel away, you can also see the Fibonacci uh, levels. And the Fibonacci levels here are around, uh, ooh, this one is around 61. And the next level we will find a little bit lower around over here, 6,000 uh, 6, US dollar. I don't believe we fall back that deep. I think this green line will be the ultimate support around 58. Again, 58, very important level, but we're slowly turning around already, so that's really cool. Let's zoom out a little bit more. <clears throat> Bam. Um, here we see what I've always been telling you on the week chart. I've been sharing this chart like for months and months and months. Let's just take the chart. Um, I told you guys from July, if we copy blue line, this is the 2013 line, if we copy 2013, we would be moving like that. And look, the 2013 line, we have been copying that. And if we, we keep copying that, then here November, end of November, we could see a bull run top. And I will show you some more evidence that end of November could be the bull run top because of some other fractal that we see. Um, if we would copy, oh, sorry, the 2017 line, yes, then it would take longer. Then it would be December that we see the bull run top. Is this is when we copy copy these runs again i don't believe in my opinion and um, that we will go much higher than this line yet the line now is at 137 but i will show you in the next chart what i believe what i mean <laughs> bam over here this one do you remember this chart i shared this one uh, like months ago around july and in july i told you at that point guys if we keep moving like we move then we will see um, uh, a July moon uh, dub, uh, bottom, then we will see August going up, September going up, October, we will see the break of that midline. And I've been talking about that midline many times. And when we break that midline, then raises up. I told you, look how we moved from September during those, those months. Times 10 from September to December in 2013. We went times five from September to December in 2017. Times how much will we go now? I told you then, maybe we only go times two and a half, you know, 10 divided by two is five, divided by two is two and a half. And then we would still go at that point, we were at 50K, to more than 100,000 US dollar, which would be a logical top because normally we move to that top line. Again, that top line is now around 137, 134. Why now? Look, if we compare again with 2013, we had the April top, we had the July bottom, then we had like August not coming above the midline, September not coming above the midline, then October we broke that green midline, the 50% midline. And when we broke that in October, November was an insane run up to the top yellow line. 2017 had a different structure. We grew all gradually up to that midline. But now look at this month again, at this fractal of this year. Here again, April top, July bottom, and then we get August, September, that are the beautiful months um, of um, like below the green line. And now we have October breaking that green midline again. I will zoom in that you can see exactly what I mean. October is breaking that green midline again. If October breaks this and closes above that green midline, 54,000, which I think is very easy to do in seven days, um, then November could be that huge run that we saw in 2013. Look, November, we broke it, and the November candle, to be very clear, I'm going to show you like this. Oh, that was a candle of, in total, 468 percent guys 468 percent uh, that's a huge candle so um, this november candle if this november candle this year will be only 150 percent we will end up at that beautiful price of 137 to 140 thousand us dollars the top of that line that would then be the top of the market if we copy the fractal we had in 2013. yes the wick can go higher <clears throat> yes we can create a complete new move but that is how i look at the charts that is why i am not freaking out i am zooming out that is why i am believing in the bitcoin revolution that is why i'm believing in the plan b model that is why i believe that every four year cycle will end at a new top that is way above the previous top guys we we i'm saying we as if i'm bitcoin i'm not bitcoin i'm just dd but i think that that line 
137k will be the top and um, i will show at that time of course a daily video that will show you get out of the market if you want to get out of the market with your trading portfolio because four years later again we will be much higher just like i said two days ago on television live in the netherlands at Yinek. Guys, that was everything for today. Longer than expected. Again, 10 minutes. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video on this beautiful Saturday, then give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. And please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time again when I make a video. Later today, I will do a Dutch AMA. Every Saturday, Dutch AMA. So Dutchies, you can ask me everything about Yinek later today. <laughs> and tomorrow, I will try to do an English AMA. Yes, I will pick up the pace again and be more uh, at the market because it's going to be very excited in October, November and December. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow or later today again. Bam!